feel them moving. Oh, this is weird. Dude, that is, whoa. Oh, that's so cool. System is ready to use. Let's go. Okay, so this is cool and all, but the ultimate test is to see if it airs out. So let's check this out. All right, so I have my Bluetooth remote ready to go, and let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh, that is so cool. Oh man, I'm not even gonna lie, it's a little messed up, but it's definitely super funny. I'm just here reading the comments on today's video, well I guess on the video that you saw on Wednesday, and 40% of you guys are like, haha, that ending was funny, haha. 50% of y'all were like, bro, you suck, why would you do that? We wanna see the Mach 1 aired out, why would you do that? And then the other 10% of you guys are asking about my coilovers, am I gonna sell them, am I gonna give them away? And those are very good questions, and I'll let you guys know towards the end of the video. <laughs> Oh man, but this is never gonna get old. I don't have a wide angle lens, so bear with me, but check this out. Got the app right here, and let's air out. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you definitely know how my fitment looks in the rear, and I'm in love with the fitment. Check that out, dude. I'm like tucking 315s barely. And here it is from the side, and man, dude, that looks so good. I'm super happy with that fitment. That looks amazing. Walking over to the front, though, yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to be done right here. So as you can see, we are barely tucking the tire, but it's not good enough. I want my fender to be hitting like right there, almost halfway through, so about an inch more. And I was talking to some of the guys over there at Martin's Tire and Service. They're located in Michigan, and they're the ones that actually hooked it up with the airlift. So you guys should check them out on Instagram, on Facebook, and if you're in the Michigan area and you need some service done to your car, I definitely recommend them. And if you mention my name, they'll hook you up just a little bit. But anyways, I was talking to them and they told me that if you do some adjusting on the strut, if you kind of like pull it off, it like takes it apart or something. I don't even know what he was saying, but I was like, oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. But I had no idea what he was saying. But I kind of got the gist of it, so we're going to go ahead and jack up the Mach 1, take off the wheels, and see if we can manage to go a little bit lower. I'm just looking for an inch. That's all I need for perfection. But I can't jack it up when it's on low, so... Oh yeah, that is so amazing. Makes my life 10 times easier. Bro, I'm filming. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, my subscribers haven't seen much of you. Hey guys, it's my sister's birthday. Well, it was like three days ago. Hey, tell her happy birthday in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. At no, no, that's likes. not. All right, so I went ahead and took the wheel off and I was actually looking through the manual of the front bags and turns out that I found what I was looking for, adjusting extended or drop height using lower mount. So we have step one, support the vehicle with jack stands. Done. Step two, remove the wheel. Done. Step three, using the supplied spanner wrench, which is this right here. Loosen the locking collar, figure 31, which is that right there. Took a little bit of hammering to get it out, but now this is the result. We can be able to move it freely. Nice. So now all we have left is to deflate the air spring to zero PSI and then disconnect the lower mount from the suspension. Super easy. Okay, left side is done. Wow, I love that sound. How are you not gonna care? There's a difference between tires and wheels, smart one. Obviously. Don't you know that? <laughs> Don't you know that? Car. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with no knowledge. I told you I know what a tire is. Okay, so what's the tire then? This. Okay, and what's the wheel? This. No, that's a tire. This whole thing. No, that's the wheel, smart one. Then what is the whole thing called? Well, I guess it's called... It's called a wheel. It's called a wheel and tire. No one says, oh, I'm going to take off the wheel and tire. <laughs> they just come as a yes, Karen, because the wheel is what's connected to the suspension, not the tire. The tire is mounted on the yeah, wheel. Yeah, so the tire comes with it. Yes, got it. But you're, the wheel is what's connected, so you're taking off the wheel. Yeah, and the tire comes with it. No, it's assumed that there's tires on the wheel, smart How one. Do you know that? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just a universal language, exactly. smart one. Universal. Yes. What is tire in Chinese? 
<laughs> I'm definitely not putting that in there. <laughs> Alright, so excusing my peasant sister, I went ahead and unbolted the strut. There's only two bolts right here, super easy. But basically, this is what you do. So you have this locking nut right here, and you're going to spin it to the desired height that you want. So I was only told to spin it like around one or two turns, but I went ahead and did about half an inch on both sides. And then once you have that set, this is going to spin upwards just like that until you reach your desired height and bam that's what you get and then you basically put everything back together and that's about it all right so wheels are back on now we can go ahead and lower the car and see if it did anything lord please please oh okay okay that actually went lower and about the same on the other side, nice. So if we're checking for issues, I mean the fender is still not touching the tire. I have like wiggle room right here as you can see. And I honestly think we can go a little bit lower. I kind of want it touching almost the wheel. So maybe about another quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch maybe if we want to go all out. So I am very pleased at the fact that I went down a little bit. I think I am going to go ahead and take off the wheels and go for that extra half inch. And I was told to do the same thing to the rears, but I don't think the rears are going to go any lower because it is touching my tire. So I think I'll be fine with just the rear. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on the front and uh... Is my face good? Yes. All right guys, so it's... So it's not a very good face. All right guys, so it's currently the next day. I went ahead and lowered my Mach 1 just a little bit in the front. I went ahead and did the same for the rear just so I'm not riding like this in the front and then this in the back. But anyways, I'm super happy with the result and check this out. This is super awesome. Dang, not even gonna lie, my Mach 1, it's a beast, it's a beast. Not that it wasn't a beast before, but now it's a beast, like it's a beast. But anyways guys, before I go ahead and end the video, I have a few questions that I really wanna answer. So when I first posted the video on my Instagram about the rear airing out, I had a few people saying, it needs more low, or oh, it's the same height as a Racelands, what is this? And bro, you gotta remember that I am on 315s. I've always been a fan of the wider tires in the rear and then kind of the stretch tires in the front. I feel like it gives it that really good aggressive stance. So I'm not a big fan of that stretch tire in the rear. In the front, it's okay, but in the rear, it looks a little bit wimpy and it's not for my Mach 1. So the rear is definitely gonna stay the way it is and I absolutely love it. And last but not least, my Raceland coilovers. I've been getting so many messages on Instagram, people asking me, oh bro, can I have your coilovers? Oh bro, I'll buy them. First one in line, guaranteed. Not even people congratulating me on the airlifts or whatever, they just kind of want my old coilovers. And I completely understand. And there's three options to what I want to do. So the first one is put it on my 99 Mustang. I'm currently waiting to see if late model restoration can hook it up on some coilovers for my 99 Mustang. If they do, then I'll definitely be selling them or giving them away. But in the small chance that they don't sell, I will be giving them away to a random subscriber. So you wanna make sure to stay updated. But anyways guys, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a comment, let me know what you guys thought. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and share with your friends because we are so close to 5K subs. But anyways guys, thanks so much and I'll see you guys on the next episode.